Okay, today's lesson is very, very similar to what we did yesterday, all right? So let's just remind ourselves briefly of what we did yesterday. We just finished doing an example, but I'm going to talk about it in a second. So there's transversal, and put a little arrow here and an arrow there. What do those two arrows mean? Does that indicate it's just a line? Is that what that is? In the case that they're parallel, okay, again, I should put lines at the ends of these lines, all right, to show that they keep on going forever, but not going to, <laughs> all right. So this says proving lines parallel. I'll show you what we're talking about. So our theorem, you know how we did that alternate interior angles are equal, corresponding angles are equal, all, um, what, consecutive interior angles are supplementary. Remember those we just, just did yesterday? All right, here's how it started off. It started off saying, if you have two parallel lines cut by a transversal, cut by a transversal, what I'm writing here is important because of what we're going to do next. Okay, comma. So if two lines, two parallel lines, are cut by a transversal, do we have that situation here in this picture? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay, then this is called an if-then statement. You're going to see these all throughout geometry. All right, an if-then statement. So if this is true, then... This other stuff's got to be true. You with me on that? All right. So if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then, and then we've got a bunch of stuff that we learned yesterday. You can fill in the blanks. You could say then the alternate interior angles are what? Are equal, right? You could say that the corresponding, I'll just shorten it, that the corresponding angles are equal, yes? You could say that the alternate, instead of interior, what? Exterior angles are equal to each other. I'm not gonna write that down, but you can write that down if you want. And then one more, not equal, but what? The consecutive, I'll put just C-O-N-S, is that right? Consecutive interior angles are supplementary, right? I'll just shorten everything just to make it a little less writing, okay? This is consecutive. The consecutive interior angles are supplementary. So all the other things, including the alternate exterior angles, they're all equal to each other, right? Alternate exterior, alternate interior, corresponding, they're all equal to each other in this situation. The only things that are not equal are the consecutive interior angles, okay? So what we're gonna do today is this. We're going to switch, we're going to kind of switch the if and the then around, okay? So instead of saying if the line, if the, if the two lines are parallel, then all this stuff is true, what we're going to do is say, what if the alternate interior angles were already equal to each other? Then what kind of lines are those two lines going to be? They're going to be parallel, okay? I'll show you, watch. Now, over here, I knew they were parallel. How did I know that they're parallel? Because of the little arrows, okay? So watch this, though. And... Do I know that those two lines are parallel? No. No. They look like they are, right? And technically they are because I, I hit the shift key to make everything horizontal. But just looking at this, can we say... Can we say 100% that they're parallel? No, we can't, all right? But what if I did this? What if I said that this was 50 degrees? And what if I said that this was 50 degrees? Now, again, I did not tell you that those lines are parallel, did I? But the alternate, or what are they? Not alternate, what are they? They're corresponding. These are corresponding angles. And so what do they tell you right away? They don't tell you the lines are parallel, but they do tell you that the two corresponding angles are what? Are equal to each other, the same, okay? They're equal to each other. What do you think then happens to those two lines that are cut by the transversal? They must be what? Parallel to each other, exactly. Do you see the difference? 
They don't tell you right off the bat that they're parallel, but they do tell you that the corresponding angles are equal. Do you see why I said we're switching the if and the then? All right, so this says, if you have two, li or two lines, not, it doesn't say parallel lines. So this says, if you have two lines, you see the difference? I don't say parallel. If you have two lines cut by a transversal, I'm not gonna write that in there just for sake of time. So if you have two lines cut by a transversal and the what? I should put this, and if you have two lines and in this case, the corresponding angles are equal, then, see how we're switching the if and the then? Then what must be true about those two lines? That's right, then the lines are parallel. I'll just put the parallel symbol there, is that right? So it's kind of the same, but a little different, all right? You're starting off not knowing that the lines are parallel. What you're trying to do is prove that those lines are parallel. How do you prove they're parallel? Well, if I can show that the corresponding angles are equal, then those two lines are parallel. What if I could show that the alternate interior angles were equal? Then the lines are what? Parallel, okay? If that's 50, what's this gonna be? If the, course, or if the consecutive interior angles are supplementary, are they? Yes, because 50 and 30 is 180, all right? If they're supplementary, then what must be true about the lines? Equal. No, they're not equal. Parallel. They're parallel. They're parallel to each other, okay? Yes? Look, if this is 50, that's 50, right? So look, what if the alternate exterior angles were shown to be equal to each other? What's true about those two lines? They're parallel. You get the idea? Yeah. Do you see the difference between yesterday and today? Yesterday, you started off knowing what? That the lines are parallel. Today, we don't know the lines are parallel, but we look at the information that they give us, and then we decide if they're parallel or not. So if we can show that the corresponding angles are equal, then the lines are parallel. If we can show that the alternate interior or the alternate exterior angles are equal to each other, then the lines are parallel. One more thing, if we can show the consecutive interior angles are equal to each other, then what? The lines are parallel. Good, you guys are getting it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so let's do an example. It's not gonna be quite that easy. Okay, there's my two lines. Do I know they're parallel? No. No, why not? There's nothing telling you. There's no little arrows. It doesn't say that line A and line B are parallel. It doesn't tell you anything. So I cannot assume that those two lines are parallel. You with me? Yeah. All right. Um, but they do tell you, they kind of tell you this angle right here. See how I'm tucking it in that corner? Yeah. That means it's that angle right there. So this angle right there is 6x minus 8 degrees. And they also tell you this angle right here. This one is 4x plus 17 degrees. What's the relationship between these two angles? They're corresponding angles, very good, okay? See how this is in the same corner of this group of four as this one is in this group of four, okay? If they were equal to each other, we don't know that, right? But if they were equal to each other, what could we say about this line and this line? Yeah, they're that they're parallel to each other. So what they're gonna ask you is they want you to find the value of x that makes those two lines parallel to each other. Hear what I just said? They call this line A and they call this line B, all right? So what you're gonna do, it says find the value of x that makes lines A and B parallel to each other. So what are we gonna have to do? What, how do I know that? Yeah, if I set them equal to each other, right? If I set them equal to each other, then those two lines will be parallel, correct? So that will help me solve for X. So let's solve for X. So if they're equal to each other, so if 6X minus eight is equal to 4X plus 17, that will make those two lines, A and B, parallel to each other. 
So we got to figure out what is the value of x that's going to make them equal to each other. All right, well, we just do some algebra. Subtract 4x from both sides. Add an 8 to both sides. All right, so that's 2x. That equals, what's that, 25? Okay, divide by 2. It doesn't come out real pretty, but that's okay. So x is equal to what? Yeah, let's just keep it 25 over 2. Is that all right with you? All right, we'll just keep it like that. So that is the value of x that makes those two lines, A and B, parallel to each other. Okay? You sure? All right. Yeah, it seems like you're, seems like you're getting it. All right? This, this sometimes can get confusing between the first lesson because it, it's kind of the work that's involved is pretty much identical, right? Because what if they told you what if they told you that this and this were parallel right to begin with and they said solve for x? What would you do? Set just set them equal, just like we did here, all right? But it's actually asking two different things. It's saying, what should x be equal to in order for those two lines to be parallel? Yeah? All right. Um, what's that? Well, it is, it's saying, what is X got to be in order for those two lines to be parallel? All right. Yeah, you could plug in X, sure. Just to make sure that they are equal to each other if you wanted to. All right, so it's 6 times X, so 6 times what? 25 over 2. That looks confusing, but it's really not that bad because that 2 does what? That 2 goes into the 6, right? So 3 times 25 is what? 75, so 75 minus 8 is 67. All right, so that's 67 degrees right there. Okay, so if they ask you what would these angles be equal to in order to make those two lines uh, parallel, yeah, you solve for x, plug it in, find it. What should this one be? Okay, let's just see if it is. Just make sure we did everything right. So it's 4 times x. 25 over 2 plus 17, okay? So 2 goes into 4 twice, that's 50. 50 plus 17, yep, that's 67 degrees. So this angle is 67 degrees, and that angle is 67 degrees. All right? Okay, let's, um, let's find something else. Let's do one more little theorem. It's kind of the same thing, but it is a little bit different. Okay, watch this. Right now, can you tell me that those two lines are um, parallel to each other? Yeah. Nope, but what if I told you this? What if I said that that was a right angle and this was a right angle? Okay, so that's 90, and that's 90. What's the relationship between them? Like, they're corresponding angles as well, aren't they? So corresponding angles are equal. If the corresponding angles are equal, that must mean the lines are parallel. Okay, that's basically what that theorem says. It's not so bad, is it? Let's do an example that uses that. I think I am. Let's see. Yep. Let me turn the page here. Uh, actually, I'm not going to do that. All right, here's... We're done with that one. Let's do an, another one that looks kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, it could be something like that. Yeah, most of them will, will be something like that. All right, copy, paste... Uh, let's just scooch this one down a little bit. Okay. And then let's go like this. Everybody draw on this? Let's go about like that. I'm going to copy and paste that. There we go. Let's just make this one just a little bit longer. Oops. No, I didn't want to do that. Anyway. 
That's fine. Okay. And let's make this one go up a little bit. Oh, it's crazy, all right. All right, we're going to put a bunch of angles in here. So watch. There's one. There's two. Four. Five. Six. Three. I think that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Tell you what, just to make this a little bit easier for us, um, let's make those two the same color. We'll make them yellow. Is that all right? And then we'll make this a different color, just to add a splash of color. What color? Quick. Pink. 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 Oh, that's, that's pink. That's, that's magenta. It is magenta. That's yeah. true. All right. So here we go. It says, which lines? Listen to the question. I'm not going to write the question out, okay? But listen to what it says. Which lines can be proved to be parallel from each given statement? Um, we'll just say pink and yellow. Is that all right? All right. So if I told you that angle one was equal to angle two, which lines must be parallel because angle one and two are equal to each other? Well, let's do this. Here's what I like to do. That's angle one, so I'll put a little arc here. They are equal, so I can put an arc at two as well. Agreed? Yeah. So look at one and two. Which ones are the parallel lines? Which one's the transversal? They both share the same transversal. So which one do they share? The pink one or the yellow one? There's no green. <laughs> the yellow. All right. So um, if you look at this, see how they both share that yellow one? So that's your transversal. The pink ones would be what? Would be parallel to each other. Okay. Now they put letters in here for them. They make them like A, B, C, and D. So like this is A and B. This is C and D. But the pink and the yellow kind of make you make them stand out a little bit better. All right. So if they told you that angle one and two were equal to each other, then which lines would be parallel? What would be your answer be? Yeah, so C would be parallel to D. That would be your answer. You follow me on that? All right. So now let's, um, let's get rid of that. Let's see what else they give you. Two and three. So what if I told you that two and three were equal? Two and three were equal to each other. Why? What's the relationship between two and three? Is there is there one? Are they? Two, yeah, they are. <laughs> okay, I was looking at it. There's so many lines going around all over the place, it's hard to tell. But yeah, so your common line between two and three would be this pink one right here, right? So this and this would be your parallel line. So your yellow ones would be parallel. So two and three would be alternate exterior angles to each other. So if two and three, if angle two was equal to angle three, then what must be parallel then? A must be what? Parallel to B. See what they're doing? All right. So they give you, this is what they give you. They give you angle one is equal to angle two. And then they also tell you that angle two is equal to angle three. Let's get rid of these arcs just to, so we don't mess up the th whole thing. Let's do one more. Um, watch this. They say that angle 5 plus angle 6 is equal to 180. This is what they give you. right? They tell you that this is true. So there's 5. I'll put one arc on 5. Do I put one arc on 6, though? No. No, because we don't know they're equal, but I'll put two arcs. Just show they're different. But it says they add up to 180, right? So which one do they share? Uh, B. They, B. they share B. So that's the transversal. So C and D would be the two lines that are what? Parallel. So what's the name of the relationship between 5 and 6? They're not corresponding. They're not... What is it? Well, they're supplementary, but what's the name of it? It's not alternate interior. It's not... Now, what is it when they're on the same side of the transversal, same side, same, same interior, 
That's the one that I used to use and that I like. I wish they would use it. But what, what word does the book use? It is C-O-N. Consecutive. Cons I did not hear you say it. You might have, but I didn't hear it. You got to be louder. Okay, they're consecutive. That's the word. That's the word that people, most people tend to forget. They usually remember alternate interior and corresponding and all that kind of stuff. Okay, consecutive interior angles. What's true about consecutive interior angles? They are supplementary if the lines are parallel, right? Yeah. But if they're supplementary, which they tell you, that means that the two lines are parallel. And which two lines? C is parallel to D. That's it. And that would be your answer right there. So that's the kind of stuff that they're going to ask you to do. All right. They may do a few little different things in there. Um, but for the most part, if you know what we just did today, you should be able to do that lesson. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. On the homework. The, the example we just did? Yeah. Okay. Tell me which one. That one? Yeah. Okay. What about it? Can you, like, you know, do it? Can I do it? Yeah. Well, if this was A and this was B, all right, and they said this was a right angle, this was a right angle, which lines would be parallel to each other? A and B. A and B. That's it. Okay. So they give you this, uh -huh. right, and they say what must be true about this? Uh -huh. Well, they got to be parallel. Okay. Is that it? Uh, you have a little homework on this, don't you? Yeah, I think you do. 1 to 22, is that right? Page 116, so it's section. I'm looking at the lesson plan. Yeah, I will in a sec. So this is the new homework. So it's section 3-2, just in case. Oops, why did I put a 6 there? Pages 116, that's probably why. And 117, and you're doing 1 to 22. Okay. All right, so that's due tomorrow. Um, we got a few minutes, so let's go over the homework from last night, and then I'll collect it, okay? All right.